are suggesting that the gap between the Labor Party and the Liberal Party is narrowing. For unrivaled live coverage, this is Sky News, Australia's news channel. This election is going to be one of the most important in our state's history. Elections are about the future. Victorians have a clear choice ahead of them. We're about taking action. How, if you win, will you seek to bring this state together? We are proud to put forward a positive, optimistic plan. And your, your government has broken the health system. Now I intend to fix the damage you've done to it. We still have a big agenda. I'm not here to have a fight, I'm here to answer questions. Well, it's not an argument, it's a debate. We will rebuild our state. Making Victoria stronger, safer and fairer. And restore integrity and accountability in government. We'll get the job done again. But we need your support. Support. Live from Melbourne, this is Victoria Votes on Sky News with Chief News Anchor Kieran Gilbert. Good evening from Melbourne where polls are just under one hour from closing. More than four million Victorians will tonight determine whether Daniel Andrews secures a third term or if his challenger Matthew Guy can come back from that thumping loss in 2018 and return the coalition to power. Tonight, we have the most expert and experienced election lineup that you will find on Australian TV live here in Melbourne. The Shadow Finance Minister and Victorian Liberal Senator Jane Hume, former Victorian Labor Senator and Minister Stephen Conroy, my Sky News colleague, our political editor Andrew Clennell, host of Credlin, and my Sky News colleague Peter Credlin, former Victorian Liberal Party President Michael Kroger. Outgoing Victorian Labor MP and former Andrews Government Cabinet Minister Lisa Neville and outgoing Victorian Liberal MP and frontbencher Tim Smith. It's great to have you all here this evening. A big night ahead. Peter, how are you seeing things ahead of the, the polls closing? What's your sense of what the result is heading to tonight? Well, I've got around a few um, booths today and pre-polls during the week. There's no doubt there's a swing on. I guess the debate will be, and we'll see tonight, how big it is and what terms of uh, what type of conversions we're going to get. Interestingly, you've got 88 seats in the lower house in Victoria, all 80, so only eight haven't been touched. 80 have had redistributions, so there'll be lots of quirks tonight. We have a record number, greatest number of candidates in Australian history being fielded uh, at this, uh, this ballot. You've got an average of 8.4 candidates per seat. We've never seen that before. Record 740 odd candidates across the state. So we'll have preference flows that will be absolutely dynamite to see whether or not we've got a changing of hands. Lisa Neville, what's your sense? Uh, we, uh, as uh, Peter said there, the, the view is there is a swing. Are you feeling confident of holding majority though? I am confident of holding majority. I think it will be tight and I don't think there will be a statewide uh, swing that's even. I think seat by seat will be very different. Uh, I, I think what we'll see is um, big, some big swings, you know, taking us back to where we were really in 2014, a bit closer to that. Uh, but I think we can get over the line, but it will be a long night. The, I, I don't okay. think we should underestimate that there's going to be a lot of pre-polls that come in late, very late. We've got some that won't even be counted tonight. Uh, so we may find that uh, there will be periods we're looking at, we think are good, big swings either way, uh, but it will be very uh, late in the night before we can make a prediction, if at all. Tim Smith, Peter spoke about those redistributions and the various maybe surprises we might see in seats around the state. What's your expectation? Well, um, I think there's going to be... 87 different by-elections tonight. There's going to be no uniformity. I say 87 because the seat of Narakan uh, won't be contested this evening because one of the candidates passed away last week. So there'll be a subsequent election in about a month's time. So 87 by-elections I describe it as because I think there'll be no uniformity. I think there'll be seats with drastically different swings across Victoria, across Melbourne. Um, I think everyone should hold on to their hats. I think we're going to be here for a very long time tonight because they're counting the pre-polls a lot earlier than they did four years ago. They're counting the pre-polls from this morning as opposed to usually 4pm. So we'll get a chunk of pre-polls in a lot earlier. Um, and then, as Peter said, with so many candidates in the field um, and with the primary vote of both major parties probably going to be lower than usual, um, this could go anywhere. Michael Kroger, there has been a sense that through the campaign... Daniel Andrews and Labor had been losing some momentum. What's your read on where this 
this ends up tonight. So, mate, we're all very... That's all true. We're very shocked by the Australian poll this morning, which showed that the Liberal Party and National Party had lost ground in the last week or so. That defies everything you're hearing on the ground. So that has thrown a spanner in the works in terms of predicting the outcome tonight. But I think the best way of looking at it is the most accurate way is to say Labor have got 57 seats. This is after all the redistributions. You start with Labor on 57. Now, they're going to lose four off the bat. They're going to lose Richmond and Northcote to the Greens. They're going to lose Bass and Nepean to the Liberal Party. So their majority has gone from 13 to 9. And I hope like hell we can find another 9 or, in our case, another 17 to get rid of probably the worst Premier uh, I think Australia's ever seen, the most divisive Premier Australia's ever seen. So I'm just hoping against hope, mate, that the big swings against Labor are not all concentrated in the western suburbs where you've got heavy Labor majorities. Um, that's, that's my worry. You can see Labor's votes down 5 or 6%, the primary vote. I hope it's not all concentrated in the western suburbs. The reason we're cautious about polls, look what happened in America two weeks ago. There was going to be a Republican wave. They were going to take control of the House by record majority. They were going to win back control of the Senate. Well, they didn't get the Senate and they fell over the line in the reps. So we're cautious, but I think you can say those four seats as a start are going to go away from the Labor government. Andrew Clennell. I think Daniel Andrews will hold on with a majority. I think he'll lose about seven to nine seats.